Hey everybody, this is Rob Wormowski for GearWire, and I'm here with Brad Naples from the original New England Digital team who brought the world to Synclavier back in 1975. How you doing, Brad? Great, Rob. And you? Terrific. Very happy to have you here. Thank you. I wanted to ask you some questions about the uh, history of the Synclavier instrument. First, uh, can you tell our viewers a, a little bit about what the Synclavier did? Well, the Synclavier, which essentially was developed out of Dartmouth College Thayer School of Engineering in the uh, late 70s, was really the first product that did uh, commercial digital additive synthesis and then evolved its way to be one of the first commercial companies to do uh, direct-to-disc uh, recording. Back in 1982, we were the first commercial company to do recording to a 5 megabyte IMI disk drive at, I think at that time, 50 kilohertz, and then we upped it to 100 kilohertz. So that was a real exciting day in the lab to actually get that to work. So. Uh, the Synclavier evolved really as a product that pioneered the area of digital sampling, digital sequencing, music notation, digital recording to disc, and um, that was all under one umbrella called the Syn Synclavier Digital Audio Workstation. And today you find all those applications in a myriad of small downstream products you plug together and hang them off your PC or a Mac. I think uh, your, the length of time for your answer has already eaten up 5 meg. <laughs> More than 5 meg, except I'm probably being sampled at 8K. Uh, but on the other side, um, you know, it was, a, it was a, a, a fabulous company with a lot of uh, really interesting uh, technology people. And uh, we knew at the time that it was a, a revolution. And, of course, our customer base, who was a who's who in the music recording and also the film industry and sound and post-production, uh, were our customers. And you can go listen to a, uh, an album like Jazz from Hell from by Frank Zappa, which is all Synclavier, uh, uh, Stings, uh, uh, Nothing Like the Sun, Nothing from the Sun, I can't remember the exact title, but that whole album is pretty much Synclavier. Uh, Star Wars sound effects are all done on almost all motion, all the uh, sound effects were done on the Synclavier, so, um, and the direct disc recording system was the first really Pro Tools before there was Pro Tools, and um, you know, we pioneered a lot of aspects of what uh, people today would commonly call digital audio. Uh, 